Hello, Internet. This is Quincy with Harpoon Pest Solutions, and this is the Harpoon Pest Solutions Pest Control Podcast. This podcast is all about the business of pest control and uh, how it relates to homeowners, uh, business owners. And one of the pests that I wanted to discuss briefly today is the German cockroach. Just some quick things about the German cockroach that makes the German cockroach so hard to control. But there are three things that if you consider um, when when having to deal with a cockroach issue. And just to let you know, the, the, the cockroaches that we're talking about are the domestic cockroaches. These are the cockroaches that people, you know, say, hey, look, you know, I open up my cabinet or I found roach or we saw something in the kitchen. Or maybe it was um, I came in at night, we cut the light on and there was roaches you know, on the countertop and appliance, stuff like that. Most people know we're talking about the small brown cockroaches. And if you've had any experience with these roaches, if you've lived through an infestation or been anywhere, you know that they can breed quickly and they can be very tough to control and very tough to get rid of. But there are three things that you have to take into consideration when, um, trying to fight a German cockroach issue. Number one, the fact that they do produce very fast. The reproduction of this roach um, should not be underestimated. Number two, their diet, you know, what they actually like to eat. And this is why sanitation plays such a critical factor in the control of these roaches. And then the third thing is their shelter. There's a lot of places where they, they hide, and can make it very, very challenging to control these particular um, bugs. So just the just reproduction, just to t- taking that into account, a single roach egg capsule can carry around 40 roaches. One single egg capsule can produce about 40 roaches. It says that the German cockroach reproduces faster than any other residential or domestic roach. And it can be very hard to control because they can breed so quickly. In fact, I remember reading somewhere where it says that basically a pair of German cockroaches, given the right situation, they can turn into over 100,000 cockroaches in about a year's time. And, you know, seeing situations like that were just completely out of control. The next thing that you want to do is well actually before that when it comes to controlling them as far as their reproduction there are materials uh, uh, on the market that are used by professional exterminators Um, there's IGRs uh, insect growth regulators and and the way these um, these products work how they affect the roaches is that when they're used in, 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 in in the right way they um, they affect the, the roaches in a, in a way that they stop the nymphs from being able to molt uh, or grow to the next stage. Um, in some cases, they make the female eggs, ab- you know, the females abort their eggs early. It, it can make the males uh, sterile. But the way that it really it really works is that it stops them from being able to molt to the next stage so it it interrupts that that life cycle so when it comes to reproduction you know you you want to ask the exterminator is he using something that's going to you know get in there and and disrupt that that breeding cycle you know in combination with other things so that takes us to the number two thing is a diet so they will eat just about anything um, meat, starches, sugars, fatty foods, um, things inside the pantry. Uh, I've seen them eat soap, glue, toothpaste. Um, in fact, this is why uh, sanitation is, is so important because they will eat just about anything. They'll eat the glue out of the uh, out of a book binding. Um, and, it, it, you know, I was reading a research paper one time that said that uh uh, uh, 20 or 30 cockroaches can just eat off of one smear of grease because their mouth parts allow them to eat very, very tiny things. Um, so sanitation is key 
understand that they'll leave about they'll eat anything if there's a piece of meat or food or cheese or something like that left on the floor under the table crumbs um any any sanitation issues will basically allow cockroaches to thrive and if the conditions are right then you know you can have you can have a, a big problem on your hands so one of the things because they will eat anything um one one of the the key ways to control cockroaches is with bait they love bait now a lot of people assume that if i have a problem with roaches you know the exterminator needs to come and he needs to spray which is true the exterminator does need to come and do some type of spraying however the way that situation is going to uh be brought under control is with a good use of bait and you'll see uh, exterminators they'll they'll bait cabinetry what i like about bait is that you can put it just about anywhere you know you can if it's done right you can put it in, in and around appliances electronics um a lot of cracks and crevices where the where those bugs like to hide and, and breed so bait is always good and a lot of the baits will mimic a lot of the greasy starchy uh things that they that they automatically like so a good use of bait but bait really only works well if the sanitation is good so once you get those uh once you once you're able to you know clean make things clean and this is really important especially in like um what is it uh commercial establishments you know commercial places they have such a challenge with this because no one likes to keep their places clean and um when you have an issue with cockroaches, it's like the only way to really, you know, get this under control is like, hey, listen, you got, we have to remove these food sources, put our bait out, and the cockroaches, they, they go after that stuff, and it, it, it works like a charm. So the third factor to, to take in consideration is shelter. Um, cockroaches prefer moist, warm environments near food and water. This is why most times when uh, we get calls, um, for a cockroach issue and we ask people where have they been seeing a problem the very first thing they normally tell us is oh you know it's kitchen restroom because those are the areas where you know there's you have the plumbing lines you have uh, you know moisture in those areas commonly found in kitchens and bathrooms and uh, you'll notice in those same areas there'll be evidence of eggs there'll be evidence of droppings and stuff like that so just to keep in mind Reproduction, they reproduce fast. As soon as you see a German cockroach or any evidence of cockroaches, um, it may be something you, you may be able to handle on a, on a DIY thing. Um, but a lot of times, you know, it's, it's, it's good to call in a professional of some kind. And then diet. You want to look at diet because understand they'll eat anything. They will eat even if your kitchen is super clean. Um, we, we, I've, I've seen roaches just eating, you know, just anything, you know, um, soap, glue, you know, so because of that, you want to, because you have to take consideration of diet, you want to make sure that they will eat whatever. So keep your place spotless and clean and then shelter. They prefer moist environments. They love cracks and crevices. They love to have that pressure on about three sides of their body. So you'll find them hiding in, in places like that. All right. So, I mean, when it comes to German cockroaches, definitely something that you don't want to drag your feet with. If you see anything, if you have, a, you know, your place, your, your place of business, if you a uh, business owner um, and a homeowner or if you own properties, investment properties, and you have a tenant that calls in about this issue. You know, sometimes some people call in at the first sight of something, but uh, sometimes people try to do it themselves. And when they realize that they can't, you know, uh, get the results that they want. Um, at that point, you know, they start to reach out and by that time, sometimes it's too late, but, uh, those are the tips for the day. Uh, thanks for watching this video. This is Quincy with Harpoon Pest Solutions. Say goodbye to the last blood.